When you're born, you're pure. Unspoiled and trusting, I believed everything and everyone. Then I met my parents. If a girl named Linda calls, I'm not home. And don't tell your mother. Yes, Daddy. If a guy named Patrick calls, I'm not home. And don't tell your father. Yes, Mommy. At five years old, I was a double agent. I had to be. Dad's been married five times, and I swore I would never be like my dad, or my mom, or my mom, or my mom, or my mom, or my mom. Or my mom. Instead, I've chosen to always give the benefit of the doubt and live in total trust. My girlfriend's boning some guy. You don't know that for sure. Three business dinners this week and this. Aaron, a rose petal's curves are nothing compared to yours. Your interpretation. Well, Aaron's a very efficient employee and lots of her coworkers admire her. And she happens to be a very attractive woman. And well, people notice that and they might remark on her resemblance to flowers. It's nothing. <laughs> are you drunk? <laughs> Aaron's the one. She's my heart. She's my soul. She owns me. And when you give yourself to someone so completely, you got to make sure they're not screwing around on you. <laughs> what time you got? It's uh, 11 o'clock. Good, she's in a staff meeting. All right, here's the plan. We go in, we ask some questions, we gather evidence. Your reconnaissance, your diversion. No, I, I don't... I don't want to hear any opinions. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, you are so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. 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 <laughs> Jim. Christopher Titus. The boyfriend. <laughs> Prone to fits of anger. Hi. Hey. Oh. Little feeble. <laughs> you should pump some iron for that. Take care of this hand problem. Jim, why don't you go ahead? I'll be up in a second. All right. Oh, watch that little step there. <laughs> You've never mentioned Jim's. Jim's funny, right? He's just someone that I work with. Should I step aside while you mark your territory? <laughs> Titus is way funnier than Jim, <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> he was being so funny in the elevator. <laughs> Tell her what you said. <laughs> Are you drunk? <laughs> Hilarious. You guys know that you're not allowed in the building anymore. How'd you get past security? You walk in with confidence, nobody bothers you. I wore a hat. <laughs> Dave's my brother. I love him with all my heart. No matter how many times I'm charged as an accessory. <laughs> it's called stealing, Dave. It's not stealing. Your girlfriend works here. But we don't need paper. <laughs> See, that's the beauty of it. No motive. How are they ever gonna catch us? <laughs> Lunch. Uh, lunch. Lunch. We thought we'd take you to lunch. It's 11 o'clock. So, uh, when were you having lunch? At lunchtime. <laughs> okay. We'll go wait in your office. No, 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 no. You are not waiting in my office. Aaron's office. Inflammable, non-flammable. You gotta be a dictionary to know what burns. <laughs> How about you leave now? Last time you guys were here, I almost lost my job. Aaron, the client's here. You coming up? Right now. Good. Don't I know you? No, no, no. <laughs> no, we're here to fix the uh, cup top your thing. Yeah. What? The uh, cover. They're cleaning my office. 
Go and wait for me there. Don't touch anything. I know I've seen those guys oh, no, before. No, 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 no. They're a cleaning service. From the group home. <laughs> Aaron has always been a co-conspirator at keeping the world from knowing what a <coughs> dork I really am. <laughs> so is uh, everything okay? <laughs> Thanks. I'm not gonna see you again, am I? <laughs> You're just not a Thai guy. Nuh-uh. <laughs> you take the file cabinet, I'll take the desk. Is it possible for you guys to come here and not commit a crime? This is not a crime. It's an invasion of privacy. Which is not a crime. You've got mail. Okay, this is gonna be an invasion of privacy and a crime. <laughs> Growing up, I'd heard the legend of privacy that lived in other houses. I have a diary. I have a journal. No one's ever read it. I tried keeping a diary once. It ended up as a performance piece at one of Dad's poker games. I, I don't know if she'll ever notice me, but just knowing she's in the world makes the world a better world to live in. <laughs> My secret diary by Christopher W. Titus. The W gentleman stands for WUSSY! <laughs> Once you get laid, you'll stop writing this crap. Oh, my God. Don't judge her. They just send you that porno without even asking. <laughs> Don't judge her? Aaron, dinner tonight, question mark. Our usual place, question mark. Snacks in the break room, period. Signed, fondly, pudding. <laughs> pudding? See, pudding, a light snack. I hate this pudding guy. <laughs> Tommy is too trusting. I see a carjacker. Tommy sees a grumpy valet with a gun. <laughs> well, you guys seem to be doing great. We've been dating six months. I feel like we're soulmates. No. <laughs> You guys want to go to the movies with us? I'll go. <laughs> guys, 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 guys. She's gonna know we did something. We? No, there's no we in Tommy. There's a why, isn't why are you doing this? <laughs> hey, hey, check it out. Did you give her this present? No. <laughs> Has no one heard of a secret Santa? <laughs> it's just a scarf. <laughs> with a crotch. <laughs> Hi, sexy. Saw this and thought of you. I've known Erin since high school, except she was in the hot looking babes group. I was in the outcast pimply guys who hadn't discovered deodorant yet group. <laughs> I can't believe you caught it. I mean, really, I cannot believe that you caught it. I mean, that was the best catch ever. Hey. <laughs> hey. I can understand going through the desk and the file cabinets, but the couch? We found 65 cents. <laughs> And this? Mm -hmm. Your turn. He thinks you're having an affair. An affair? Is that what you think? What am I supposed to think? Did it ever occur to you that there might be something going on in my life that's worse than me having an affair? I'm dying? <laughs> this is not about you. I'm dying? <laughs> 
Well, what then? Come on, look, I love you. We are a team. If there is a problem, I got your back. This is not a cage match, Christopher. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you because I don't want you involved. I will handle it. Aaron, I'm not leaving until you tell me. Well, I'm not telling you. Fine. Fine. I think you should tell him. You know. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Tell me. No, I, I can't tell you. She swore me to secrecy, and when you're sworn to a secret, you can't... She's being sexually harassed. <laughs> really? Yes. Oh. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you're just being sexually harassed. <laughs> I mean, that's not a problem. We just kick his ass. <laughs> Finally, we're playing to our strengths. He's a, <laughs> He's a dead man. Yeah. Roughly how big a dead man? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I tried to stop this. It's not your fault, Tommy. I'm the one with the problem that I can't seem to handle. We'll, we'll handle it. Christopher, please, please, just stay out of it. But I am in it. No, actually, honey, you're not. It's complicated. You, you just don't know anything about it. <laughs> My dad invented sexual harassment. In every current sexual harassment lawsuit, my dad gets a royalty check. <laughs> Take this up for me, will you, Ben? <laughs> Who's addicted to the chase? You know, I had to fire my last secretary. Her work just wasn't up to par. <laughs> he had a monkey on his back. Do you type? Perfect. <laughs> My new mommy. <laughs> Look, I know you guys want to help, but you can't. I'm the one who dug the hole. I'm the one who has to get myself out of it. You think you're to blame for this? No. Maybe. Partly. Yes. I knew you guys wouldn't understand. Honey. You're just hot. <laughs> It's not your fault. Your heart's in the right place, sweetheart. It's just not connected to your head. You just don't get it. But Tommy does. Tommy is sensitive. I can share things with him. He's not like other guys. He listens. Well, you know that's something my mother taught me? Tommy, you have two ears and one mouth, so you can listen twice as much as you speak. <laughs> Honey, I have to go back upstairs. Okay, good. You handle that, we'll handle this. What, who's the guy? Here's how you can handle it. You can either slink out past security the way you slunk in, or we can have a huge fight that lasts for days. Episode five. <laughs> Honey, I just want everyone here to respect you. Really? How about we start with you? Ooh, good one. <laughs> Are you sure? Okay. Really? <laughs> yeah, I trust you to handle it. Okay. Aaron, we're waiting for... Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Very proud of all of you. Especially you. Okay. Bye-bye. Thanks again. Since I've been with Aaron, I've learned. You don't have to bungee off every bridge. You don't have to be the first off the line. You don't have to act like one of those mall guys. You know. Are you looking at my girlfriend? As much fun as that is. Christopher, I am so proud of you. For what? You're becoming a sensitive, trusting partner. 
Congratulations, you're Tommy. <laughs> no, Dave. He just knows that she doesn't need him to be the white knight who has to leap in and save her at the first sign of danger. Danger? <laughs> I spend a lot of time trying to unlearn things my father taught me. Things like extreme measures get extreme results. Okay, Dave, it's time to teach you to learn how to swim. Now, don't be a wussy. Okay, now, swim. One arm over the other. No, 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 no. Oh, crap. Okay, grab the... Grab... Just... Uh, Christopher, go save your brother. What? Unfortunately, I have a very slow unlearning curve. <laughs> All right, everybody, listen up. Um, this is a hostage situation. <laughs> oh, my God. You, get in here with these people. Tommy, watch the hallway. Dave, watch the elevator. Are you? A stripper? <laughs> no. Look, I don't know where I'm really going here, people, but put the stapler down. Down, down! <laughs> I do what he says. He's crazy! I am looking for a man named Pudding. <laughs> I'm assuming it's a nickname. <laughs> But whoever he is, he's harassing my girlfriend, and it's going to stop. Who's your girlfriend? Erin Fitzpatrick. She works in that office. When I was a kid, I never thought I would find a good woman. Instead, I found the perfect one. She is cool and sweet and beautiful, and every time somebody messes with her, a little part of that beauty dies. So pudding, whoever you are, just stop it. Come clean and be a man. Not a soft, creamy dessert. Christopher. Well, at least nothing's burning. <laughs> that was beautiful, man. Aaron, I'm sorry. Jim? Funny Jim. I knew it. I'm sorry. I like to lick your pens. Oh, my God. OK. Jim, we're going to have a little bit of I'm a... I'm guilty, too. Bobby? I'd like to drop money on the floor so I can watch you pick it up. I've spent, like, $45 on you so far this month. Ew. Um, I always try to go to the bathroom when you do so we can pass each other in the hall. You went twice today. <laughs> Ew. I don't even know you. Uh, Lewis, in accounting. Oh, yeah. Ew. <laughs> We're gonna need more guys. <laughs> What's going on, people? Why isn't anybody working? Well, you must be the head of the stalker training camp. <laughs> I do know you. Stolen paper, small desk fire. <laughs> Christopher Titus, look, these three guys have been sexually harassing this woman. Is this true? Yeah, you're damn right it is. You're not gonna hide this behind some corporate door. Yeah, like you did with the engine that runs on water. <laughs> Who are you? I'm her boyfriend. Boyfriend? Aaron's gay. <laughs> No, she's not. Are you? I'm sorry. But, wait, if you're not gay, then... Oh, my God, it's me. I've been harassing you. Pudding? <laughs> Go ahead, Titus, kick her ass. So, 
if you're not gay, then why did we go on all those dates? Dates? I didn't know that they were dates until yesterday, when I got the panties. Panties? <laughs> Don't you have some stapling to do? I didn't want to hurt your feelings. We had dinner. I thought you wanted to be girlfriends. I didn't know you wanted to be girlfriends. I want to work here. <laughs> So you just led me on. I didn't know what to do. Listen, if you were a guy, I would know how to deal with you. Me too. If I were a guy, I would have gone after another guy because I'm gay. That's a good point. I'm sorry. Do you want your panties back? Should I quit? No. You keep your job. You keep the teddy, keep the panties. Teddy? It's in the mail. Think of me when she's wearing it. <laughs> Thanks for staying out of it. I don't know what you're so mad about. She said you could keep the panties. <laughs> When you're born, you're pure, unspoiled and trusting. Some say it's the only time we're perfect. You're also born covered in blood and placenta. No one gets nostalgic about that. I'm the funny one. No, I'm the funny one. No, I'm the funny one. I'm the funny one. Okay, fine.